Hello, this is Lance Wolf, and this is Iron Wolf Studios. Uh, the V712 Intruder is uh, getting sort of a touch-up, uh, a refit, as it were. Uh, as these vehicles were, or vehicles, I should say, all these models were built for the my story, and they were built as I was writing the story. And uh, some of them I hadn't really flushed out yet what the vehicles were going to look like, so they all just got a basic primer paint job, and I threw some th uh, you know, little decals on them to make them look fancy. Uh, but since the story had finished and I had a better direction for the story, uh, meant that all these vehicles before getting them ready for the director's guide meant that they would all require a sort of touch-up paint job and new decals and then adding any little model parts that were missing uh, since the story's progressed. And the V712 Intruder is one of these models that's featured heavily in my book. And it's uh, basically, I wanted a hot rod like a, a Dodge Challenger RT. Uh, but also like a Humvee, your basic multi-purpose vehicle that does everything. So I wanted this six-wheel monster uh, for my story. And it's, it's unique in many different ways, and it has a pretty wonderful backstory to it. Uh, but here what you're seeing is that here I'm uh, distressing the model with as much silver paint. And of course this day I completely forgot to take my rings off <laughs> and put on some rubber gloves, so I'm always amazed. <laughs> at the, how much paint I wind up on my hands. Uh, but basically the intruder is getting an entire touch-up paint job and new decals. And originally the models were done while I was doing the story and they helped the story as I was doing them. So I was in this big phase of while I was working on the story, I was cranking out as many models as I could uh, to help me with the story. That way once I had a physical model, uh, it would help me better uh, with description for it in the story. And so a lot of these models are kind of just at, like at the halfway point, and that's why I'm coming in here. Now here I'm adding some silver paint, or actually pewter, is to give the model more reflective value. This way in the right lighting, uh, the model will have more parts that will show dynamically, and that was part of what went into it. Uh, but that's what you're seeing here. All, all the models that will be in the director's guide are all getting a, a nice a refit and makeover with new decals that fit the story of the book and whatnot, which also changed the color palette of this model. Uh, it needed blue decals because that was what the story required. Now the vehicle is heavily armed. Uh, it runs on a hydrogen fuel cell and the, this fuel cell runs, it's packed into a hydrate, which means that it can store a lot more hydrogen and you could put a bullet through the uh, the fuel cell and not damage it. So uh, the vehicle runs forever and it's quiet. Now the vehicle has some other backstory attributes. I wanted to come up with vehicles that each one was unique and would actually help the story. So in some cases I designed elements into the vehicle before I had done the story, uh, just so I'd have a, a deep background on each vehicle that would really help the story. Uh, now this vehicle here has this one wonderful side armament, which meant that with the hatch on the top, uh, of the vehicle meant that it could only be a, a two-person vehicle because a third person would stand in, that, in the, that hatch on the top with a rifle. Or he would have a little stool that would fold down off the, the door that he could uh, sit on. But basically it's a two-person vehicle, a, a driver, navigator, and a gunner. Now the gunner sits long ways across the back seat, so that way he can have the devices that he needs to operate the gun slide forward and then slide over his lap and lock into place. And so this what is what drove some of the designs of the vehicle. Now the vehicle also, the windshields on the vehicle are like a two-way mirror. They're not technically glass. What they literally are is a one-way mirror that allows the vehicle to see in any environment. So it's like a plastic sheen. So all the model required now was one big heavy uh, windshield scraper to scrape debris off the window so it could see better. But the vehicle doesn't have headlights because it doesn't require any with this view screen. The view screen allows the vehicle to be seen in any light, smoke through smoke, uh, dust or otherwise, or in complete darkness. So it does have some tail lights. But what I will show you here before the video ends is I have some artwork from the director's guy that shows how the pilot and gunner are placed. And again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And there'll be more to come. And thank you so very, very much. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you again.